Consecrate yourselves because tomorrow God is going to do amazing things among you. This is what God told Joshua to let the people know just before they headed to the, to the Jordan River and then to walk around Jericho. God had given them the vision and his promise. They believed it and they stepped into it. Get ready, he says. Prepare yourself for what's coming. This involved consecrating themselves. This is a word used often in the Bible. It simply means set apart. It's an action word. To intentionally set something apart from normal for the sake of God. This thing, whatever it is, to be used only for God's purposes. Like when Solomon finished building the temple. They consecrated it. It was the action of intentionally setting this building apart for God's purpose and nothing else. Here, God's asking people to consecrate themselves. Set yourselves apart for God. It's like a, it's a deliberate, physical, mental, emotional, relational, spiritual, whole person positioning myself for God's use in His purpose. I love this example in Joshua's life. God is saying, I'm going to blow your mind with miraculous stuff. Put yourself in a position of readiness spiritually. Get ready, but not just spiritually. Make yourself ready to be used by God. Prepare yourself for a miracle. What's that look like? Get right with God. Seek a renewed heart. Deal with sin. Make relationships right. Deal with forgiveness issues. Separate yourself from the stuff that God's been asking you to get rid of for a long time. Literally, put yourself in a position where God has free reign to do what He wants to do with you or your stuff. Everything you are is His. It's for His purpose. Now, there's two other words that the Bible uses that have exactly the same meaning, but each come from different perspective and different context. Holy simply means to be set apart. Be holy, God says, because I am holy. Simplest way that I can draw the difference is holy is the be part. Consecrate is the do part. Holy is an adjective. Consecrate is a verb. Same definition, but see the difference? The other word is sanctify. It means, means to be declared set apart. This is the work the Holy Spirit does in you, making you perfect and holy. It's God's part in this. He puts you there. He puts you holy. Three different words with the same definition, but different perspectives overlapping, giving us the whole picture. God's desire for you is to be holy. That's who you are. That's who He is. Sanctification is God's work of doing that. I can't sanctify myself. I can consecrate myself. Separate for His purpose. So today, consecrate yourself. From here to here to here. Let's be different. Action required. It's a verb. So this week, you and me as a whole church, as God has given us His promises, He's given us His plans, I'm taking this principle from Joshua and applying it here. Listen to this verse again. Be consecrated because tomorrow God is going to do amazing things among you. Do you believe that? Let's prepare ourselves for a miracle.